Book 6, Book of Morals and Precepts, Chapter 4, Life. I found this chapter very instructive. NPR 434 Earthly success is not the measure of a man's achievement, for a gain here may mean a loss elsewhere. An earthly loss may mean a spiritual gain, and the scales are always just. NPR 435 when in old age you say, Alas, that life is short. And then consider the way you abused and wasted it in your youth. Is not your reward fitting? Remember that the paths to pleasant old age are chosen in youth. They are the paths of simplicity, moderation, cleanliness, and virtue. NPR 438 The wise man lives fully all his life, and he is always conscious of being alive. The fool is always beginning to live, and the weakling shrinks from it and seeks forgetfulness and comfort. Those who half live are already half dead. NPR 439 Live lustily and manfully, for life is to be enjoyed. It must be savor to the fool. Better one day as an eagle than one year as a goose. NPR 440 what is life that man should seek to prolong it? Is it not a continual avoidance of snares, a struggle against illusion, a series of mishaps, and a pursuit of shadows, which retreat from the grasp? It begins with ignorance, continues through strife and worry, and ends in sorrow and pain. It is a day of heat, and death comes as a cool night. NPR 441 are not the troubles of life piled one upon another, as the stones of a pyramid? Are not all our hopes based only on possibilities? And do not our expectations look forward into improbabilities? It seems most of the book talks of sacrifice, and yet verses 438 and 439 could be used to justify the opposite. I don't agree with that, but it could be. We are here on earth to experience it even vices. 35 says moderation, simplicity, and cleanness. I might add, cleanness is not just of the body, but the soul. It does depend on your perception. You may keep yourself outwardly spotless and worry about prolonging your youth, but in the process be sure you are not abandoning your soul to destitution and suffering. You should not be so rigid that you deny yourself everything the world has to offer. But keep in mind that material things are to have a purpose that enriches through knowledge that inspire wisdom. And wisdom is often from humility. You learn from your mistakes. God gave you free will, not freedom from the consequences. If you will not learn to think before you act, not just the impact on you, but those that could be affected by the act then you will eventually pay a price. In arrogance, a parent or a leader might try and stop you, using the call for the greater good. Yet, I maintain that phrase has never been used, and the person using it be remembered fondly by history.